So this is part two on how to build out your auction event. And this is where we get to the unit information. So we've already gone over the top half, the basic information. So now we're going to scroll down and get to the unit information. So here is where you will type out the unit number. We're just gonna use one, two, three as an example. You'll then select the unit type. We have climate, not climate, controlled, manager buildup, possible storm damage, and private seller. This facility is climate controlled, so I'm gonna select that one. Then select the unit size. There are so many sizes we have available, so continue to scroll down if you do not see the proper one, but let's just throw out 10 by 10 as our option. Um, the starting bid amount, we start all of our auctions at $10, so this is not able to be edited. And then we move on to the unit description. So this is just a very specific inventory of what is in the unit. Make sure you're very descriptive as the bidders are going off of the photos as well as what you're typing. So for example, if there's a TV in there and it's a flat screen and it might be a name brand, say Samsung, you would type Samsung flat, flat screen TV and you would continue typing out what is in the unit. Um, also, before it will also auto-populate um, once you publish it to this unit appears to contain dot, dot, dot. So say there's a TV box that says Samsung flat screen. That's why it says um, this unit appears to contain. And you'll continue to type out the inventory. I'm just gonna type inventory for now. Nope, can't spell, it's okay. Anyways, you guys get the point. Continue on with um, as many things as are in the unit. And then as we move over here to the tags, all of these tags are searchable on the site. So put as many as are in the unit, for example, um, boxes or TV. It even has flat screen, so it's even a little bit more specific. This helps because sometimes the bidders on our site are looking for very specific items and they're willing to travel for them. So the more tags and the more specific your unit description is, the more it's gonna help push your unit um, to get the most potential views as well as bids. And this is the end of the how to build the auction event part two video. Do you show them how to add more units or just one? Crap, no. Okay, just keep going. And then I'll cut it. I'll, I'll edit out the part where you say this is over. Then we can scroll down um, and we're going to go over the private information in another video. So now you have a few more options. You can actually click add unit and just repeat the process you just did by adding more units in there because um, you'll only have to do the top part one time, but you can continue to add units from there. And if you're not ready to add a unit just yet, you can always click Save Event and Add Photos. It will bring you back to the top, um, and then you'll be able to upload photos, which we go over in another video. And this is the end of How to Build an Auction Event Part 2.